Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In last video, what we learned how to create uh, column charts in SSRS. In this video, we are going to go one step ahead and highlight columns uh, depending on the max and min values. Now, first of all, we will prepare our query and then uh, we will use that query in the SSRS report uh, and finally write expressions uh, on data series uh, to change the color of columns uh, for the chart uh, by using uh, max and min uh, functions. Uh, now let me take you to the SSMS uh, SQL Server Management Studio and show you the data we are uh, using. Uh, so here is my data and if you see here uh, we have uh, items sold and then we have country, region, uh, uh, and uh, city state uh, and sale person for first name last name and etc in this case uh, I would like to use only two things first of all I would like to use country and second part I would like to use the item sold so I want to do the sum of item sold and that's gonna give me a summary so I will do let me take this one for this one so we'll say country, I want to select country, comma, sum of item sold, and then we have to group by the column. So we are grouping by country. This is going to give us summary and th that we can use in our report. So let's run this query. And as you can see that we have France with seven um, item sold 17 Germany 2 India 7 Pakistan 3 and USA 11 few of the things uh, let's uh, name this column as uh, total item sold and uh, one more thing we don't want uh, country name or anything where we have a null and I'm gonna do that where country is not null so we filter that record left uh, is uh, the country names uh, and uh, the total uh, items sold uh, so we are good we are going to take this query and use in our report uh, so let's take this one right now and uh, go to the SSDT SQL Server data tools uh, the project is already created we have shared data source uh, and uh, if we open it it is pointing to the sales uh, database uh, and this is our server name uh, it's a good idea to create shared data source uh, if you are creating multiple reports uh, from same uh, database uh, click on the reports uh, and here add new item and now click on the report and give the name so I'm gonna call this one uh, column chart expressions add click on data sources and use our shared data source I'm gonna call this one the set uh, sales uh, and it is going to use the shared data source that sales uh, and next uh, we will be cre creating a, a data set uh, say so data set is a result set returned by your query or a store procedure we can call this one D set uh, you can use the functions whatever you want to use in the, uh, the data set uh, as long as it return you some uh, result set uh, so now we select the data source paste your query here we are all good we have the column country and item sold on the design surface right click insert and bring the chart now here we are using a column chart so I'm selecting that part hit ok let's drag it a little bit on the left side give some space make it a little bigger now here double click and we have chart data so we are selecting uh, the values uh, so first of all we know that we want the item sold that's already is the uh, kind of group by we don't really need to uh, add these or some uh, but it's going to do it anyways uh, so we are fine with that we have uh, uh, this is good practice actually if you are uh, you can do the group by here in the SQL query that's best uh, you don't want to bring uh, th millions of records uh, and do the grouping in the report uh, as long as uh, you are using select uh, using your query that's returning you maybe 100 record why not to use it and take advantage of that uh, instead uh, you bring everything and let SSRS uh, group by so that's fine here we will be using the value called the total item sold and next uh, what we have here uh, 
category group so that we can select and that will become our x axis x axis um, uh, values here so let's add that part so we call it country now we are all good here you can see that our this uh, on the y axis we have numbers on the x axis we have the countries what i want would like to do let me rename this one real quick so we call this one country country list or country name whatever or maybe country names yeah that's bare better and here we would like to say items sold the actual fun part is going to be we can rename the chart we can call it a sale report what we want to do here you see these bars or columns whatever you call them here what we want to do we want to change the color if I preview this one for France this is the highest value we have I want to have a green color for this one and wherever I have the uh, lowest value I want to have uh, the red rest of that I can be uh, maybe a yellow or uh, any other would we can uh, put uh, so I want to color these values depending upon the uh, color these columns or uh, the bars uh, depending on the value so for the max we would like to green for the min we would like to have uh, red and the rest of that may be yellow so let's go ahead and do it now go to design uh, and here click uh, on this uh, uh, bars and they say uh, then uh, you can go ahead and press F4 that's gonna take you to the properties so we are gonna change the properties and we are interested to change the color of that one so let me find color so here is the color click here and go to the expressions now what we are saying here we are saying if the value is so we know that we can use if function if the value let me go to the field so if the total item sold is equal to max of uh, total items sold and we want to put the on the data set level so we call it d set and here we have underscore sales so we took uh, the max value for this field and we said that okay if uh, this total item sold is ma equal to max uh, what we would like to do we would like to do in this case uh, we are gonna have a uh, parenthesis is good we would like to have uh, green so I'm gonna call this one green else uh, so here we have uh, two options uh, what we can do we can just for the max we can have green and for the rest maybe we can have yellow let me put yellow then we are going to come back and change it so i i if is going to check this condition if this value is equal to max of the value then it is going to give the green so and the rest of those will be yellow if not true so that's fine let me take this just copy this one hit okay now let's preview it and uh, as you can see that uh, the value the max value where we have for France uh, is a uh, turn into green and the rest of them in yellow but one thing I would like to do for the lowest one or the minimum I would like to turn that into red and rest of that yellow is fine with me so I would like to go back here go to the expressions uh, press F4 again and here we have our expression I would like to write another if uh, right here instead of saying yellow I'm gonna write another if so we can write I if and I'm going to say if this value the field total items sold let me get, make it bigger is equal to min so in this time I'm checking the min value so if it is equal to min value of uh, this field for the data set level so d set underscore sales what I want to do I want to have a, let me close this one if that's true I would like to have the red otherwise I would like to have a yellow so now it is going to check all of them 
we are all good here let's close the parentheses so we are writing uh, multiple ifs first if is checking if it is equal to the max uh, uh value item sold so if it is then it is going to give us green for otherwise it's going to go to this if uh, and they're going to check for the min if uh, it will be true so once it will be equal to the min value it is going to give a red for that uh, bar or uh, the column what we see and uh, otherwise it will give us a yellow so we are all good here i'm going to copy this one just in case and I will put this expression in the description so you can use it. Hit OK. Now preview the report. And as you can see that for the max we have green and for the min we have red and other values are coming in the yellow. So that's how you can play with the properties and change them. Use You can use a multiple expression, you can use switch, you can use I, I, if, and there are a lot of things we can do. So anywhere you have these properties, uh, there, there is a possibility to use expressions. So it's, it's a good idea to make your uh, reports more interactive, more beautiful by using these properties and writing expression. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video.